Hello everyone, welcome to Educate 247 and we bring you the best 50 current affairs MCQs from 17th May to 23rd May. Before we begin, Educate 247 offers you SEBI Grade A 2020 crash course which features around 5000 plus MCQs with concise content. So you can log on to the website and apply coupon code SEBI to avail discount on the course. Moving on to the questions. Question number one. As per the latest measures of economic support which have been announced by the finance minister, the borrowing limit of states has been increased to dash percentage for 2020 and 21 only. And the options are A 2%, B 6%, C 5%, D 3% and E 4%. And the correct answer is C that is 5%. To deal with the economic fallout of COVID-19, the center has increased the borrowing limit for states from 3 to 5% for 2020 and 21 only. Now, the decision has come after requests posed by various state governments. However, the finance minister has also said that the net borrowing ceiling of states for the same year was 6.41 crore based on 3% of the GSDP and added that 75% thereof was authorized to them in March 2020 itself and the timing now is left to the states. States so far have borrowed only 14% of the limits which were authorized. Moving on to the next question. The National Restaurants Association of India has partnered with which company to build its own tech platform for online payments and digital ordering and the options are A. Bharat Pay B. Paytm, C, Phone Pay, D, Google Pay, and E, Dot Pay. And the correct answer is E, Dot Pay. The National Restaurant Association of India, which is the apex body for the food and beverage industry, has partnered with a fintech startup called Dot Pay to build its own tech platform that would enable them for online payments, bill settlement, and contactless dining. Dot Pay was founded by the earlier co-founder of PayU, Shailaz Nag. Moving on to the next question. Who has been appointed as the new Managing Director of Jammu and Kashmir Bank? And the options are A. P. S. Jayakumar B. Shikha Sharma C. Zubair Iqbal D. R. K. Chibbar and E. Sunil Mehta And the correct answer is C. Zubair Iqbal The Jammu Kashmir Administration has approved the appointment of Senior Vice President of HDFC Bank, Zubair Iqbal, as the new Managing Director of the Jammu and Kashmir Bank, while R.K. Chibbar will continue to be the bank's chairman for the next three years. Iqbal will have a term of three years. Both of them were appointed as Director and Nominee of the Government in the JNK Bank Board. Moving on to the next question. The Union HRD Minister has launched seven titles on the psychosocial impact of pandemic and lockdown and how to cope with it. The series has been published by Dash and the options are A. PHI Learning B. Harper Collins C. Pearson D. NBT India and E. Arihant and the correct answer is D. that is NBT India. The Union HRD Minister Sri Ramesh Pokhrial Nishank has e-launched the print as well as e-edition of seven titles on so psychosocial impact of the pandemic and lockdown and how to cope with it under the coronavirus study which has been published by NBT India. Some of the titles include Vulnerable in Autumn by Jitendra Nagpal and Aprajita Dikshik, The Future of Social Distancing, New Cardinals for Children. Moving on to the next question. Who among the following has shared the second spot with the Rubin brothers in the UK Rich List 2020? And the options are A. Vijay and Biku Patel B. Ranjit and Baljinder Bhoparan C. Mayur Bhai Madhwani D. Hinduja brothers and E. Bhupendra and Ramesh Kansagra And the correct answer is D. Hinduja brothers the Indian origin siblings dominate the annual tally of Britain's wealthiest 
as the Hinduja and Rubin brothers shared the second spot with the fortune of 16 billion pounds each, while British entrepreneur investor James Dyson topped the Sunday Times rich list 2020 with 16.2 billion pounds. Moving on to the next question. The Chief Minister of which state has inaugurated Everybody Will Get Employment Scheme through video conferencing to ensure Narega job cards are distributed among labourers? And the options are A. Andhra Pradesh B. Haryana C. Madhya Pradesh D. Himachal Pradesh and E. Punjab And the correct answer is C. Madhya Pradesh In Madhya Pradesh, Chief Minister Shivra Singh Chauhan will inaugurate Everybody Will Get Employment Scheme through video conferencing. Under the scheme, Narega job cards will be distributed to the labourers. The Chief Minister will also hold discussion with the heads of the village administrative committees via video conferencing. Moving on to the next question. The US has decided to pull out of which treaty as it allowed unarmed surveillance flight over member countries? And the options are A. Collaborative Skies Treaty B. Free Skies Treaty C. Friendly Skies Treaty D. Partner Skies Treaty and E. Open Skies Treaty And the correct answer is E. Open Skies Treaty The United States has stated that it would withdraw from the 35 nation Open Skies Treaty allowing unarmed surveillance flights over member countries. The Trump administration's latest move has come after Accusations over Russia for repeated violations of the pact. Moving on to the next question. The Madhya Pradesh Chief Minister has inaugurated which scheme to provide job to laborers under who are underskilled, semi-skilled and in unskilled categories. And the options are A. Shram Uthan Abhyan B. Shram Rozgar Abhyan C. Shram Nokri Abhyan D. Shram Seva Abhyan and E. Shram Siddhi Abhyan And the correct answer is a. Shram Siddhi Abhyan The Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh, Sri Shivraj Singh Chauhan, recently interacted with laborers and sarpanches of different districts via video conferencing after inaugurating the Shram Siddhi Abhyan under which jobs will be provided to laborers. Laborers will be registered under the unskilled, semi-skilled and unskilled categories and accordingly work will be provided to them. Moving on to the next question. Prakash Javedkar has launched which program to engage students with postgraduate degrees for a period of one year through an open, transparent and online competitive process? And the options are A. Nature Conservation Internship Program B. Biodiversity Samrakshan Internship Program C. Biodiversity Conservation Internship Program D. Prakriti Samrakshan Internship Program and E. Biodiversity Internship Program and the correct answer is B. Biodiversity Samrakshan Internship Program. The Minister of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Sri Prakash Javedkar, launched the NBA UNDP India's Biodiversity Samrakshan Internship Program and addressed the virtual celebration of the International Day for Biological Diversity. On the occasion, he launched the National Biodiversity Authority. NBA and UNDP program Samrakshan Internship Program which proposes to engage 20 students who have postgraduate degrees for a period of one year via an open, transparent and an online competitive process. Moving on to the next question. Who has been appointed as the national president of Fiki Ladies Organization? And the options are A. Smriti Puri B. Harjinder Kaur C. Jayanti Dalmia D. Janbi Fukan E. Ujwala Singhania and the correct answer is D. Janbi Fukan. Janbi Fukan is an Assam based entrepreneur who has been appointed as the national president of Fiki's lady organization, the woman wing of the leading industry chamber of the country. She took over from the outgoing president Harjinder Kaur Talwar at the 36th annual session of Plo in the presence of Lok Sabha speaker Om Birla. Moving on to the next question. KKR has agreed to buy 2.32% stake in Geo platforms for how many crores? And the options are A. 12,180 crore B. 11,500 crore C. 11,367 crore D. 13,500 crore and E. 14,700 crore 
and the correct answer is C. 11,367 crore. Private equity giant KKR will buy 2.32% stake in Geo platforms for Rs. 11,367 crore. This is the latest deal which gives Geo platform an, at an equity valuation of Rs. 4.91 trillion and an enterprise value of Rs. 5.16 trillion. Moving on to the next question. Hirda has allowed which bank to continue with 30% holding in India First Life Insurance with the condition that the lender will no ho hold no control in the insurer's management and the options are A. SBI, B. Yuko Bank, C. Axis Bank, D. The Union Bank of India and E. HDFC Bank and the correct answer is D. Union Bank. The Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India has allowed Union Bank of India's proposal to continue with its 30% holding in India First Life Insurance with the condition that the lender will hold no control in the management of the insurer. Moving on to the next question. Which country has become the second largest producer of personal protective equipment coveralls after China? And the options are A. Thailand B. India C. United States D. Germany and E. Vietnam and the correct answer is B. India. India has become the world's second largest manufacturer of personal protective equipment body coveralls within a short span of two months and while China is the world's leading producer of the PPE body coveralls to cru which is crucial to safeguard against the COVID-19 pandemic. Moving on to the next question. ONGC has signed an MOU with which company to set up a joint venture for renewable energy business and the options are A. GE Wind Energy B. Enercon India Private Limited C. NTPC D. Vestas India and E. Suzlon Energy Limited and the correct answer is C. NTPC India's top oil and gas producer ONGC and the country's biggest electricity generator NTPC have recently signed a preliminary agreement to set up a joint venture for renewable energy products. The MOU will enable both the companies to achieve their respective targets in the renewable energy business. Moving on to the next question. As per the latest measures of economic support which have been announced by the finance minister, the borrowing limits of states has now been increased to dash percentage for 2020 and 21 only. And the options are A 2%, B 6%, C 5%, D 3% and E 4%. And the correct answer is C, 5%. The support to state government from central government. Now, the state's net borrowing ceiling for 2020 and 21 is 6.41 lakh crore based on 3% of the jet of the gross state domestic product. The center has now decided to increase the borrowing limit of states from 3 to 5% from to, for 2020 and 21 only, which will give the states some extra resources of around Rs. 4.28 lakh crore. Moving on to the next question. According to the rating agency ICRA, the Indian economy is likely to contract by dash percentage in financial year 21. And the options are A 1.5%, B 5%, C 2.5%, D 3%, and E 4.5%. And the correct answer is B 5%. Rating agencies ICRA has predicted that the Indian India's economy is likely to witness a sharp contraction of 5% during financial year 2020 and 21, despite the massive stimulus which has been given under Atmanirbhar Bharat or the Self-Reliant India program. Moving on to the next question. ATEL has acquired a dash percentage stake in AI startup Voicesin in an all-cash deal and the options are A. 14% B. 15% C. 10% D. 12% and E 13% and the correct answer is C 10% Bharti Airtel has acquired a 10% stake in Gurgaon based startup Voicezen which focuses on conversational artificial intelligence technologies in an all cash deal the stake purchase will give Bharti Airtel preferred access to Voicezen technology which now can be deployed across its customer touch points in multiple languages moving on to the next question the center has launched an online dashboard to monitor movement of migrant workers. Who among the following has developed the online dashboard? And the options are A. HCL, B. NDMA, C. TCS, D. NIC, and E. Infosys. 
and the correct answer is B NDMA the center has asked the states to use the online platform that is the national migrant information system for capturing the information on movement of migrants and for better interstate coordination the platform has been developed by the national disaster management authority on the existing NDMA GIS portal moving on to the next question the Madhya Pradesh government has launched which initiative to provide shoes and slippers to migrant laborers who have been traveling barefoot? And the options are A. The shoe campaign, B. Walk the talk, C. Charan Paduka, D. Paidan, and E. Slippers campaign. And the correct answer is C. Charan Paduka. In Madhya Pradesh, now a, in a first of its kind initiative, the Charan Paduka campaign has been started for the migrant laborers who have been passing through the state. Under this campaign, the migrant laborers going barefoot are being provided shoes and slippers to reduce the pain. The most notable thing in this campaign is that it is being conducted by the police at many places. Moving on to the next question. In a recent announcement made by the RBI, the repo rate has been cut by dash basis point, bringing it to at 4% and the options are A 25 basis point B 30 basis point C 35 basis point D 40 basis point and E 15 basis point and the correct answer is D 40 basis point the RBA has cut the repo rate by 40 basis point from 4.4% to 4% reducing the reverse repo rate at 3.35% to maintain its accommodative stance the RBI governor Shakti Kanta Das, while addressing the media, stated that the six-member Monetary Policy Committee has voted 5-1 in favor of a rate cut. Moving on to the next question. Who has been named as the Chief Economist and the Vice President of the World Bank? And the options are A. Alu Soji O. Adia B. Pablo A. Acosta C. Annabella Abreu D. Carmen Reinhardt and E. Eric Ebel and the correct answer is D. Carmen Reinhardt. The World Bank named former Bear Stearns executive Carmen Reinhardt as its new vice president and chief economist, tapping an expert on financial crisis who has also served on the advisory board of the New York Federal Reserve. Moving on to the next question. The Andhra Pradesh government has come up with a scheme to help revise MSMEs and improve livelihood of those affected. Name the scheme. And the options are A. Recover, B. Improve, C. Restart, D. Relaunch, and E. Boost up. And the correct answer is C. Restart. Factoring the hardships faced by the MSMEs during the COVID-19 pandemic, it was the Andhra Pradesh government who has come up with Rs. 1,110 crore restart policy boost. It is to provide some relief at a time when the economy has come at a standstill which has affected the livelihoods of hundreds and thousands of people who have been dependent on the MSME sector. Moving on to the next question. The RBI has deferred interest on working capital loans which can be converted into funded interest on term loan till which date? And the options are A. 1st January 2021 B. 31st March 2021 C. 1st September 2020 1st September 1st August 2020 and E 31st December 2020 and the correct answer is B 31st March 2021 the RBI has extended the moratorium on term loans and deferment of interest on working capital facilities by three months to 31st August 2020 while the three month moratorium and deferment was to come to an end on 31st May, the RBI has also deferred interest in working capital facility which can be converted into funding interest on term loan repayable by March 31st, 2021. Moving on to the next question. What is the amount extended by the RBI to the Exim Bank to help meet its foreign currency resource requirement? And the options are A. 10,000 crore B. 12,500 crore C. 15,000 crore D. 13,000 crore and E, 14,000 crore. And the correct answer is C, 15,000 crore. The RBA has decided to extend rupees 15,000 crore line of credit to the Export Import Bank of India for a period of 90 days to help meet its foreign currency resource requirement. The central bank also stated that it will roll over its rupees 15,000 crore special refinance facility for SIDP by another 90 days. Moving on to the next question. 
which of the following companies is all set to launch the second tranche of the Bharat Bond ETF fund? And the options are A. Kotak Mahindra Mutual Fund B. Edelweiss Mutual Fund C. Principal Mutual Fund D. Access Mutual Fund and E. Mirai Asset Global Investments And the correct answer is B. Edelweiss The Edelweiss Asset Management recently announced the launch of the second tranche of the Bharat Bond ETF with the two new series after the initial series which were launched in December last year. The Bharat Bond ETF program is an initiative of the government's Department of Investment and Public Asset Management which has been given the mandate to design and manage the product. The two new Bharat Bond ETF series will have majorities of April 2025 and April 2031. Moving on to the next question. The union government has extended the Pradhan Mantri Vai Vandana Yojana by how many years with a focus on providing a minimum pension to senior citizens? And the options are A. 5 years B. 4 years C. 3 years D. 2 years and E. 1 year And the correct answer is C. 3 years The union cabinet has extended the Pradhan Mantri Vai Vandana Yojana which is a social security scheme for senior citizens for 3 years till March 2023. The scheme is implemented through the Life Insurance Corporation and is intended to give an assured minimum pension to senior citizens that is 60 years and above based on an assured return on the purchase price. Moving on to the next question. Name the initiative announced by the Finance Minister to provide psychological support to students, teachers and families for the mental health and emotional well-being and the options are a PME Sehat b Sehat program c Manu Chikitsa d Manu Darpan and e PM e Vidya and the correct answer is d Manu Darpan the central is launched a e technology driven education initiative with equity post covid 19 under the PM e Vidya a program for multimode access to digital education the finance minister has also launched Manu Darpan, which is an initiative for providing psychological support to students, teachers and families for their mental health and emotional well-being. Moving on to the next question. Who will head the Ayush task force for which has recently been constituted by the Maharashtra government? And the options are A. Dr. Anmol Khole C. B. Dr. Hina Gavit C. Dr. Tatya Rao Lahane D. Dr. Shama Mitre and E. Dr. Sheetal Amte. And the correct answer is C. Dr. Tatya Rao Lahane. The Maharashtra government has approved the formation of a task force which will give recommendations to incorporate IU treatment modalities specifically for increasing immunity against COVID-19. Meanwhile, the Ayush Ministry and the CSIR are working together on validating four Ayush formulations against COVID-19. Dr. Tatya Rao Lahane, Director of the Medical Education and Research for Maharashtra, will head the task force. Moving on to the next question. Which division of railway has developed a robotic device called Railbot to strengthen hospital care and health in hospital management functions? And the options are A. Eastern Railway B. Southeastern Railway C. South Central Railway D. Northern Railway and E. Northeastern Railway and the correct answer is C. South Central Railway. Now, the South Central Railway has developed a robotic device known as the Railbot to help assist citizens in hospital management functions to, and help in patient care. The Airbot underwent extensive trials and demonstrations before being deployed for use in Central Railway Hospital. Moving on to the next question. According to Goldman Sachs, India's GDP is likely to fall by dash percentage in the June quarter against an earlier estimated contraction of 0.4% and the options are A. 55% B. 20% C. 45% D. 35% and E. 30% and the correct answer is C. 45% the Goldman Sachs now expects India's GDP to contract by a record of 5% during 2020 and 2021 against a contraction of 0.4% estimated earlier the minus 5% growth forecast for financial year 21 would be deeper compared to all recessions India has ever experienced, it stated. The financial services firm pegged a fall in the GDP to 45% in the first quarter of the current financial year over the fourth quarter of the previous financial year compared to 
20% decline which had been projected earlier moving on to the next question the ministry of new and renewable energy has launched a scheme for solarization of which famous temple in the country and the options are a kedarnath temple b somnath temple c konark sun temple d badrinath temple and e the priyadeshwara temple and the correct answer is c konark sun temple the ministry of new and renewable energy has launched a scheme for solarization of the konark sun temple in konark town in odisha the government of india launched the scheme with an objective to develop the historical sun temple town of konark in odisha as a surya nagari to convey a message of synergy between the modern use of solar energy and the ancient sun temple moving on to the next question the central government has cleared the plan of drilling of hydrocarbon exploration in which of the following national parks and the options are a campbell bay national park b baner ghatta national park c bandavgarh national park d anchi national park e dibru saikova national park and the correct answer is e that is the dibru saikova national park the union ministry of environment forest and climate change has accorded clearance for extension of drilling for hydrocarbon exp- and exploration inside the dibru saikova national park in eastern assam moving on to the next question in which state has the rural livelihood mission begun the didi service vehicle for safe delivery of rural women and the options are a tamil nadu b kerala c madhya pradesh d andhra pradesh and e haryana and the correct answer is c madhya pradesh in tribal dominated jabo district of madhya pradesh the women of rural livelihood mission have started the didi vehicle service for rural for the safe delivery of rural women this vehicle service is completely free moving on to the next question baba ramdev lech patanjali has launched which e-commerce platform to supply swadeshi goods and handmade india items in the country name the platform and the options are a buy bharat b buy swadeshi c get now d order me and e order swadeshi and the correct answer is d order me baba ramdev patanjali ayurved is in the process of launching an e-commerce platform to supply made in india items and swadeshi solutions the proposed e-commerce site has been named order me and will deliver patanjali's own ayurvedic products as well as connect the consumer to neighborhood stores who are selling indian products moving on to the next question franklin templeton has appointed which bank to assist trustees in monetizing assets of six wind up schemes and the options are a the state bank of india b kotak mahindra bank c icici d axis bank and e uco bank and the correct answer is b kotak mahindra bank Franklin Templeton Trustee Services have recently appointed the Kotak Mahindra Bank to work together with the Franklin Templeton Asset Management India to assist trustees in monetizing portfolios of the six schemes that are now being wound up. Kotak Mahindra is a highly reputed firm with strong corporate governance practices and deep financial market experience. Moving on to the next question. Which institution has dev- discovered new ways to prevent memory loss or reduce short term losses which are related to the Alzheimer disease? and the options are a iit madras b iit delhi c iit guwahati d iit hyderabad and e iit kharagpur and the correct answer is c iit guwahati researchers at the indian institute of technology guwahati have discovered ideas that can help prevent or reduce short term memory loss associated with the alzheimer's disease they studied the neurochemical principles of alzheimer and explored new ways to prevent accumulation of neurotoxic molecules in the brain that are associated with short term memory loss moving on to the next question us based general atlantic is all set to buy dash percentage stake in geo platforms for rupees 6598 crore and the options are a 2.56% b 1.34% c 1.50% d 2.23% and e 1.95% and the correct answer is b 1.34% reliance industries announced that the us based private equity firm general atlantic will invest rupees 6598.38 crore for a 1.34% stake in the geo platforms it has marked the geo platforms fourth major deal with the us based technology investor within a month moving on to the next question 
the government has implemented recommendations of which committee relating to creating a border infrastructure and the options are a harshvardhan committee b naresh chandra committee c left hand general db shekatkar committee d ajit doval committee and e bipin rawat committee the correct answer is c that is the db shekatkar committee the union government has implemented left hand general db shekat shekatkar committee's recommendations related to creating border infrastructure which has been related to speeding of the road construction leading to socio economic development in border areas moving on to the next question which of the following countries has launched a new unit to step up defense in outer space and the options are a china b japan c germany d france and e sweden and the correct answer is b japan japan launched its new its new space defense unit to monitor and counter threats to the country's satellite the space operation squadron part of japan's air self defense force starts with 20 members and is expected to grow to about 100 members once the unit is fully operational in 2023 moving on to the next question which bank has launched its first zero contact video know your customer savings account and the options are a axis bank b icici c sbi d hdfc and e kotak mahindra bank and the correct answer is e kotak mahindra bank in a major development the kotak mahindra bank has announced the introduction of a video kyc to open a fully fledged kotak 811 savings account which is the first in india banking this initiative is being launched on a pilot basis for savings account and is in line with kotak's digital first strategy moving on to the next question the bsc and the nsc have cut the annual listing fee for smes by dash percentage amidst the challenge which are now being faced due to the corona virus pandemic and the options are a 18% b 25% c 30% d 15% and e 10% and the correct answer is b 25% Bombay Stock Exchange and the National Stock Exchange both have decided to reduce the listing fee for the SME platforms by 25% due to the challenges faced by the small and medium enterprises due to the coronavirus pandemic the revised listing fee will be applicable for existing companies as well as for the firms waiting to be listed on the exchange moving on to the next question which of the following digital payment companies has launched the eF inclusive AEPS 2.0 and the options are a adiper b stripe c pine labs d billgard and e financial softwares and systems and the correct answer is e financial software and systems the digital payments player fss or financial software and systems have announced the launch of eF inclusive aps 2.0 which is expected to strengthen last mile banking services amidst the transforming dynamics of the global pandemic fss is aimed to enable digital financial service providers to offer low and secure cost financial tools that can expand the usage of digital banking products across diverse customer groups moving on to the next question nebard has extended a dash 1000 rupee special liquidity facility to cooperative banks and rrbs in various states and the options are a 22500 crore b rupees 20500 crore d sorry c 42500 crore d 40500 crore and e 30500 crore and the correct answer is b 20500 crore the national bank for agriculture and rural development stated that it has extended rupees 20500 crore special liquidity facility to cooperative banks and rrbs in various states it is against the rupees 5000 crore lent during the first quarter of the last year The special liquidity facility is in view to augment the resources of cooperative banks and RRBs to enable them to extend credit to farmers for taking up pre-monsoon and kharif operations. Moving on to the next question, which state has recently launched a cyber security incubator program known as Hack for startups in India? And the options are A. Telangana, B. Karnataka, C. Punjab, D. Haryana, and E. West Bengal. and the correct answer is b karnataka karnataka launched its first cyber security specific accelerator program known as hack for startups recently 
it comes at a time when there are serious discussions around surveillance and lack of safety through the government run online software for covid-19 the program is implemented by cisec k which is the state's center of excellence in cyber security and is meant to create a cyber safe environment for industry collaboration moving on to the next question the nepal government has decided to publish new maps which includes which of india's region amid an ex- escalating border row between the two countries and the options are a lamhai and sonali b nanpara and lipu lake c nepal ganj and lipu lake d lipu lake and kalapani and e sonali and kalapani and the correct answer is d lipu lake and kalapani the nepal government has decided to publish new maps showing lipu lake and kalapani the subject of disputes with india as a part of the nepalis territory amidst an escalating border row between the two countries the, the decision to so lima pedura lipu lake and kalapani was made at a meeting of the council of ministers chaired by prime minister kp sharma oli moving on to the next question which app has been launched by the union hrd minister to take mock tests for ge mains and neat 2020 and the options are a neat test app b national exam app c test your skills d mobile testing app and e national test abhyas and the correct answer is e national test abhyas the union hrd minister shri ramesh pokhrial nishank has launched a new mobile app called the national test abhyas which has been developed by the nta to help candidates take mock tests for upcoming exams such as je mains neat under the nts purview moving on to the next question the ministry of housing and urban affairs has announced the results of the star rating of garbage free cities how many cities have been certified as five star in the list and the options are a eight cities b five cities c six cities d 12 cities and e 10 cities and the correct answer is c that is six cities the ministry of housing and urban affairs has announced the results of the star rating of garage free cities the star rating protocol was launched by the ministry in january 2018 to institutionalize a mechanism for cities to achieve garbage free status and motivate cities to achieve higher degree of cleanliness moving on to the next question Which state is all set to launch the Rajiv Gandhi Nyay Yojana for farmers on May 21st that is on the former PM's death anniversary and the options are A Maharashtra B Rajasthan C Punjab D Madhya Pradesh and E Chhattisgarh and the correct answer is E Chhattisgarh Congress rule Chhattisgarh is all set to launch the Rajiv Gandhi Kisan Nyay Yojana in the state to encourage farmers to produce more crops and help them get the right price for it the scheme will see a sum of rupees 5700 crore being transferred directly to the accounts of 19 lakh farmers of the state in four installments moving on to the next question which of the states has launched the tatpar scheme to collect information about migrant workers walking on national highways and provide them with a transport facility and the options are a kerala b madhya pradesh c uttar pradesh d haryana and e jharkhand and the correct answer is E Jharkhand the Tatpar program was launched by the Ranchi district administration to ease the tiresome journey on foot under the program officials collect information about those who have been walking on the national highway on any of the other road to provide them with transport facilities moving on to the next question which of the following state or ut government has started the sukun covid 19 initiative to beat the psychological impact of the lockdown and the options are a punjab b Tamil Nadu C Jammu and Kashmir D Haryana and E Kerala and the correct answer is C Jammu and Kashmir in order to spread awareness about the psychological impact of lockdown and measures to be adopted to overcome them the department of information and public relations of Jammu and Kashmir has started the school initiative to beat the covid-19 stress it is during which the psychiatrists eminent doctors and scientists will share their knowledge on psychological health and how to keep the mind anxiety free so that's it for this week friends thank you and happy learning